you already <laughs> you already saw some uh, 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 some uh, uh, theory involving the Dumbledore's Burnside uh, ring uh, this morning with Jesper. So I'll start again by putting the right notations. So <coughs> so <laughs> GH is the uh, Grotzendieck. A group of uh, uh, left free G H <laughs> 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 uh, 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 bisets uh, with with the <laughs> uh, so the the also called the double front side. Module uh, and uh, you uh, saw that there was a we talked uh, the other day uh, there's a, an external multiplication from the uh, uh, GH uh, by sets across the HK by sets into the uh, GK by sets taking a uh, GH by set and HK by set and making the uh, product over age of those things. So mainly letting the action of age move from uh, left to right. And uh, as you remember, this makes uh, a uh, SS into uh, a ring, uh, the double. Burnside ring for S. Okay, so uh, this is the the area where I'm uh, I will situate my uh, my uh, talk today. Uh, you saw in uh, in the talk of uh, um, uh, you, you saw in the talk of Sejong that. There's a basis of uh, also in mind uh, of this uh, uh, double burn side module, which are the uh, GH uh, sets, where K is a subgroup of H and Phi is a uh, morphism from K into G, and mainly those are transitive. GH by sets when when there will be a um, like we won't be sure what is the GH uh, action then I will know the age low and G high meaning that G acts on the left and H acts on the right so this is just the uh, G cross age uh, quotient up by uh, the the graph of this morphism, meaning that uh, every time I have a, a morphism uh, starting from an element of K, then this is uh, the same as having the element on the other side, K for uh, in K. This is just a transitive uh, uh, GH uh, by set. Then we'll uh, just to see, so those are taking up to isomorphism. And what is uh, the isomorphism related with? So uh, we'll we'll say that uh, k uh, phi as a as a pair is uh, uh, t theta is related to uh, uh, another pair uh, t theta. Uh, by a GH conjugation, uh, if uh, uh, there exists uh, uh, an element in the direct product of the group conjugating uh, one graph into the other, so mainly uh, KG, uh, sorry, it's the other side, KH uh, would be 
equal to t, and then uh, when we have uh, this uh, diagram, uh, so okay, the conjugation by h into t uh, in g. So there exists another element here, uh, the, so the conjugation in G, making this diagram commute. Okay, so we say that those are, and mainly when two such pairs are uh, G H conjugate, they will give the same uh, transitive biset, transitive G H uh, biset. Okay, uh, so now we will uh, go down to a assess the dipole burnside ring and if we take an element in in here then this element can be written as a sum over the basis and i, I use uh, this notation because i want to uh, uh, emphasis that we have a name for the coefficients so I'll just call this C P phi of uh, X times the uh, transitive biset given by the graph of phi. And the sum is taken over all the equivalence classes of such pairs inside of, uh, uh, inside of uh, uh, S cross S. And so the I introduced this just to have this notation for the uh, coefficients of this this ring. Then, as uh, remember, you have the augmentation, right, from a assess into z. Uh, now you uh, take your uh, biset x, its isomorphism class, and you send it on the uh, number of elements in the uh, the, the s orbits and given that uh, this is uh, s acts freely at least on one side this is a uh, an integer right and this is a ring homomorphism you also have uh, the fixed point morphism so i will note phi uh, p phi going from the double bond side ring also into z that takes uh any uh, biset and send it to the number of fixed points by the graph of this morphism, meaning what? Those are all the x's in x such that if you act on one side by phi of uh, u, uh, then this is the same as acting on the other side by u for all u in, in p. Right, so this is just a uh, this set here is the what Burnside tells you is that mainly if you uh, if you go from uh, uh, now the the uh, how we say let's let's call this. Uh, this set of, um, uh, I will just call it F for now, but it will uh, be the fusion system. Maybe I should call it G or something else. Uh, like just the set of uh, those pairs, P phi, for uh, P, in, uh, P in S and, and phi, a morphism from P to S. So if you go from the uh, G-generated uh, SS bisets into, so the modified version of Burnside, if you want, uh, into a bunch of copies of Z indexed by this P phi. And you take a X that is G-generated over the, the bunch of its fixed points then this is injective yeah. 
and uh, with a finite co-kernel meaning that if I tensor with rational coefficient this would be an isomorphism okay so I I modified it a little bit in the sense that I don't take here all the subgroups of S cross S, but only those given by uh, morphism. So those, those that are uh, uh, left. Uh. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm free. Okay, yeah, so I, yeah, it was just, okay, so I, I should not say that. I will use it. Right, right, right. You, you're right. Yeah, I'm just free. So there's no, no point into saying that. I, I, I was in the in the full burn side ring. So I was thinking I don't have enough uh, enough uh, groups there. But but this is okay. Uh, so so now if you try to understand better how this uh, fixed point morphism goes. on transitive uh, sets, then this is just, uh, one can do some, some counting, uh, and you, you get uh, the some kind of, some version of the transportal, I'll explain in a second what's here, over Q times the centralizer in S of uh, the image of P through phi, and what is uh, uh, n phi psi are all those elements of n phi. Remember what n phi was from the uh, the talk yesterday. It's this pre-image of the intersection of automorphism uh, things. S uh, sorry, no, not uh, uh, n s. Sorry, from from P to Q, such that there exists uh, a Y in S conjugating. Let me draw you a picture just to. So I have a Q psi into psi of Q P phi phi of P. There's uh, some X transporting by conjugation P into Q. So I want another guy here making this diagram commute, so such that uh, phi composed with Cx is the same as uh, uh, Cy composed with Psi in, in the diagram uh, below. So, the, so if you want, it, it counts the, the way to uh, transport P into Q such that I can do the same simultaneously the transportation by conjugation of the image into the image. So mainly this is this tells you when do you have fixed points so this uh, uh, this is non-empty so the, the number of the fixed the set of fixed points is non-empty uh, if and only if uh, this n phi psi is non-empty, and uh, if and only if uh, we would say that if, if such a situation happens, that uh, the pair uh, p phi is uh, s s subconjugate uh, inside of uh, uh, q uh, psi. Okay. So so. Uh, this, uh, let's say, by, by definition using this, this diagram. So one, once you, you have a pair of elements in S cross S conjugating in the same time uh, P into Q and the image into uh, phi of Q, then, then uh, you would have fixed points. Otherwise, you don't. Uh, so you if, you, if you don't have a subconjugate pair, then you you will not get point f fixed points by uh, P uh, over this uh, transitive biset. Okay, and uh, also, what does it mean 
it means just to so just to take care of that that uh, if you look at fixed points by p phi of x or you you just add some transitive biset that's not f conjugated oh, just I, I insist on that is not conjugated uh, so such that p phi is not subconjugated in uh, r theta then then you have the the same fixed point so this this will be a main ingredient how to construct uh, characteristic bisets so let me recall you a uh, an s cross s uh, characteristic uh, by set omega for a fusion system uh, f uh, has to satisfy Uh, so it's it's uh, first it's f generated if it's f generated we can translate that on on fixed points and uh, uh, just uh, so so this is the same as saying that the coefficients for the pairs that are not in uh, in f are trivial and it's the same as asking so the the uh that the fixed points by uh, i i mean i mean a uh, uh by set world okay so the coefficients are are positive here uh asking that the fixed points of these by sets are all uh empty so so uh, zero if uh, phi is not in f, right? And then you would have that omega is uh, f stable. F stable, you can characterize it. Uh, you remember it was this restriction on one side through p or through a morphism of p, but you can also see that as multiplication in the uh, Burnside ring, just by saying that omega composed with uh, p inclusion viewed as a p s biset is the same as a uh, omega composed with uh, p phi uh, also as a p s biset for phi in f. And the other way around, like if you act on the uh, opposite, so P, so this P1 means that is the identity on P viewed as a subgroup of S. Omega is the same as uh, uh, phi of P, uh, phi minus one, omega. Uh, this is again an S uh, P uh, yes by set. So this those those uh, equivalences happened in here in A uh, P S and uh, S P sorry and here in the Burnside ring of uh, P S right. So, the, so those are P S by sets. This is S P by sets. And uh, again, the augmentation uh, should not be zero mod p. And you can see that in a very nice way. In fact, just by uh, by looking at the uh, at the sum of the coefficients indexed by the by the silo. 
Okay, alpha works here in the outer automorphism in F of S because you, you, you're just looking at those pairs up to uh, conjugacy. Omega, this should not be zero mod P. Maybe I should just stop a little about that. Uh, so the, the only non-divisible by P part in the augmentation comes from the uh, uh, SS bisets given by uh, automorphisms on, on S. And those, those are contribution one, so we, we just sum up their coefficients. Everything else, everything else will give augmentation divisible by P, so, so everything we add will not change uh, this, this augmentation. Okay. Very good. So how do, how does one construct such a uh, characteristic biset for a fusion system, which is a result of uh, Brotto, Levy, and Oliver. I told you last time, so theorem. Yellow 2003, uh, telling you that uh, if uh, F is saturated, then uh, it has a is a uh, characteristic by set omega and uh, just uh, hints of uh, the proof just to see how you go by counting by fixing the f stability in fact you what you will have you'll start with something that has already the good augmentation and you will stabilize it to the process. So you start with, uh, let's say, omega zero. That's a disjoint union of transitive biset given by automorphisms of, uh, of S. This one has the good augmentation. Why? Because this is just the outer automorphism of S and because we have a saturated fusion system, this is not zero mod P. Okay? And what, what does it have as property, as nice property, this one, is that if you look at the fixed points by two different automorphisms in the outer automorphism, then the way we constructed it is that it has the same uh, fixed points of alpha and beta in the outer automorphism of uh, S. So if you, if you start with that, what you can do is uh, try to stabilize it uh, everywhere. So you see that it will be stable I didn't write that with the uh, fixed points, but uh, just to uh, so to, to have it as a to have those isomorphisms, you just need to have the fixed points with respect to any uh, so 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 B is equivalent to say that omega the fixed points with respect to P phi are the same as the uh, the fixed points with respect to Q psi for any graphs or any uh, pairs that are F cross F uh, equivalent. Okay, the F cross F equivalence is, imagine, is the same as, as the S cross S one. You just allow you allow here. Uh, morphisms in uh, in in F. 
from one side to the other. So, so the, the, the stability is having the same fixed points uh, for all the equivalent f cross f equivalent pairs. And what you do is that uh, you add, okay, so, so if, uh, uh, if age would be a, a, a set in the so so in the pairs p phi uh, again uh, phi in in uh, f and with the property that uh, omega of uh, uh, let's say p f r theta have the same fixed point, so uh, omega have the same fixed points uh, with respect to r theta and r prime, theta prime, with uh, uh, those uh, uh, equivalent f, f cross f equivalent and uh, you take this age to be closed by uh, f cross f conjugacy and uh, subgroups then then if you have this for all r theta that are not in age one can construct, so let's say, uh, uh, omega prime by adding uh, uh, maximal uh, by removing maximal. Uh, P phi, so the it's it's class it's f cross f class uh, from age, and if if you say that this is saying saying this, let's let's put it by definition that omega is h bar stable, like stable outside. It has the same fixed point. Once you are outside of age, then one can construct omega prime that is uh, age without this, this class. Uh, bar stable. Just by, by adding... things of this type uh, let's say cube psi for uh, q uh, psi uh, isomorphic to p phi right? so so you you just manage to stabilize it at some level if it stabilizes up to some level above you you stabilize it more just by adding uh, those things and this this will not change either the fixed points the, the the fixed points that were already good above and it will not change the fact that the augmentation is uh, uh, is not divisible by p so you get uh, omega uh, tilde let's say uh, that is f stable after a finite number of steps. But I wanted to explain, and the system here is that once you have, have stability somewhere above, adding something to make stability at, a, at the next level will not change the stability above 
and will uh, and you will go by uh, by doing that step by step. Okay, so there's. So there is a characteristic biset, and now uh, Ragnarsson proved that starting from this biset, he can construct a characteristic idempotent. You. So I, I, I didn't. You can do so. This is so. This is a, a result of Suna that, in fact, you can. Uh, you only have to add. Like if you do it in a right way, starting the, the same way I, as I did here, but then adding only what you need to add. If you, you, you will, you will add only non-fully normalized things below. So that there, there will be no. Uh, no fully normalized one that, that you need to add if you go by. Yes. No, the the, uh, the, the full uh, the fixed point checking is over the f cross f isomorphism class. So so there's a in in this f cross f isomorphism class there is one that is fully normalized. But uh, and and if if p is fully normalized in f then P identity will be one that's fully normalized in F cross F, but but yeah, but you 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 would not need. So if you do that, yeah. So this is the way uh, that uh, sooner obtain a basis for the double uh, uh, Burnside uh, ring uh, that is F stable, just by by adding. Uh, okay, so theorem, Ragnarsson. So six, uh, there exists uh, a unique, idempotent, no characteristic, idempotent. We'll call it omega f in the double bond side ring. But here we are forced to have some local coefficient if you want to uh, to have an idempotent. Uh, so there exists a unique characteristic idempotent for uh, uh, a saturated fusion system F. How do you go to to do that, so you start with the uh, omega characteristic by set. You just take care to have, and you can do that just by multiplying with uh, constant if you want, uh, with the augmentation of omega being 1 modulo p. And you look at the sequence omega, uh, omega p, omega p square, etc. And this is a sequence of, of biset, but if you look at it inside of the uh, p-completed double bonsai ring, so it's convergent in a Double bond side ring with uh, local uh, coefficients, and uh, and converges to a uh, to an idempotent. Omega F. It's an idempotent. It's characteristic one showed being the limit of 
uh, those things. And uh, moreover, so there, there are uh, uh, the, the coefficients of uh, omega f satisfy equations. In uh, a uh, in uh, sorry in the p local integers, so uh, so at the end, what you get by uniqueness, you you show that the the uh, this is uh, unique in uh, uh, in the p uh, completed uh, case, and in fact, you you get that this is just. Uh, the coefficients can be uh, considered inside of the local local ring. Okay. So, so this is in one direction. You have saturation. You can construct uh, characteristic stuff, but one can go also the other way around. Uh, as independently done by Puch and by Ragnarsson and uh, myself in around 2009, uh, saying that uh, if F has a characteristic uh, by set omega, then F uh, is uh, saturated. So somehow the saturation is included in the condition about the uh, characteristic element. So how do you uh, do that? Do that by counting arguments uh, fixed points and just to just to see uh, there's a uh, let's say let there's a technical uh, technical lemma that's telling you that in general not not for uh, no, for 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 uh, omega in a, a, a biset okay take it f generated if you want so just not to but it's not not important anyway you work with uh, uh, fixed points over over those uh, morphisms so the if you consider the sum over the representative uh, the re representations from p to s so uh, let's home f p s quotient out the inner morphisms of s of the fixed points with respect to some graph uh, p phi of omega quotient the uh, centralizer in S of the image of p through this phi, then this is congruent to the augmentation modulo p. And uh, I'll just uh, looking at the, the, the actions. Uh, and if you take uh, F isomorphic, uh, so you take a sum over uh, the F isomorphism class of, uh, of P, again, sum over phi in the homes in F from P to Q of the fixed points. Uh, of omega <coughs> over uh, here you need a normalizer in S of, of Q. This is also concurrent to the augmentation modulo P. Okay. So now you will play around using those two
counting formulas, we will play around with using the, the, uh, char the properties of omega being characteristic, meaning that P does not divide the augmentation and that the fixed points are the same over the F cross F uh, Okay, so, so now phi is characteristic. So meaning that uh, phi uh, P phi of uh, uh, omega is constant. over so the, the, the P phi class in F cross F. So you replace here, you look at the fixed points so that for anything then you get F. Uh, something that I didn't say is that all those, uh, let me just write here, so all those numbers, this are integers, so this divides that and this too. Okay, so now you have a sum of integers that is not divisible by p. Then there is uh, at least one. So for from the first equation, so there exists a phi such that. Uh, when you take the quotient of fixed point of omega over, let's, let's not even put that, put m because it's uh, over the centralizer in S of phi of uh, p. This is not zero modulo p, meaning that that uh, Cs phi of p is maximal among uh, Cs q with q f conjugated to p. Right. And from the second, uh, from the second thing, first the sum that's above phi in home. Uh, F, P, Q, P and Q are isomorphic, so, uh, uh, and, and the phi, uh, the, the fixed points of omega are the same, this is, this is constant, it's just taking, this is in bijection with automorphisms, in F of P, and you have again your M here, so again, there exists a Q such that uh, out F P times M over the normalizer in S of Q, but I will write that as uh, automorphisms given by S on uh, the Q is isomorphic to, uh, so, uh, okay, I can, I can take this to be Q here. It's, this is the same. Uh, so, automorphism in S of Q times the centralizer in S of Q. Now, I have here two uh, two parts, like two integers, su such that the product is non-zero <coughs> mod P. So on one side, it says that this one is maximal, and then that this is a silo S Q uh, is a silo uh, of uh, F Q. So giving the the first, if you remember what was the uh, the first axiom was that uh, the inner automorphisms of S is a silo P subgroup of the uh, automorphism in F of uh, S. So this is okay. And then 
you would need. An extra stuff like the extension axiom, I think this is the somehow the nicest the nicest one. Uh, when, so when you write uh, write omega okay so write omega uh, to to so remember omega was this sum of uh, a bunch of uh, psi q psi and when you uh, look at uh, the fixed points uh, of omega is just taking the the fixed points on all of those but if you remember uh, what was that uh, so those were the n phi psi over q times the centralizer in S of five P. Okay. And you, you take this only over the uh, uh, so the those that are important are for P phi uh, subconjugated to cube psi. So now the, the important thing from here you remember that uh, we had that so take this one, take it from here, quotient on the other side, CS phi of P, and you, you had that this was not zero modulo P. Okay, I wrote it the other way around. Uh, so meaning that there exists uh, Q such that uh, this is not divisible, the quotient n phi psi over q is not zero modulo p. Okay. Uh, so we look at the action. of uh, n phi, this is the one that up to which we want to to extend uh, sorry so the in the case so in the case where you you had here so this was uh, like th this this would tell you that the normalizer is maximal so and it will tell you that uh, q is fully f normalized So here, this is true for, for if you take phi of p fully f-normalized. Okay? So you look at the action of n phi on the quotient. Q is a subgroup of n psi, so you just can take the quotient on the other side. This is not zero mod p, so this is a set with a uh, number of elements not divisible by p, acted on by a p group. So, so there exists uh, x in or class of x in n phi psi by q that is fixed point. for this action. No, and let's translate let's translate that. What does it mean to be fixed point for this action? Means that for all uh, age in N phi if you do uh, uh, there exists uh, there exists a u in q, because this is the uh, quotient by q. The, so the, the action 
of age on uh, x on this fixed point is the same as acting like multiplying by it has to to get in the uh, in the class of uh, q inside of n five psi. So uh, sorry, the, the, other, the other way around I want it, right? So so uh, uh, age is u x, right? So so this will tell you what that uh, if you conjugate age by x, then this is u inside of q. Okay, or otherwise said, so uh, this 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 fixed point that we found because of this action of a p group on a p prime set uh, will tell you that n phi can be taken inside of q. Okay, very nice. Uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Now you have already, so you have the extension axiom that comes now freely. Yes. Um, so you have phi from p into phi of p, then q and uh, this morphism psi from into psi of uh, q. You know that n phi uh, gets inside of q by conjugating by this x. So you can do the same, p is a subgroup of n phi, you do the same, the conjugation by phi. And here, because x was in n phi psi, so it means that there exists uh, exist y in s, such that we have a conjugation here in the making the diagram commute. So you just have to uh, take the conjugation by the element that inverse to this one and get inclusion on the other side. So this is just making the extension map of phi from n phi into S once you have a fully f-normalized image. Okay, but uh, somehow it's uh, we characterized the saturation by having a, a, a Characteristic by set, but how uh, can one characterize the saturation without speaking of being having a property for F? And this is the uh, theorem that we have with Carey. Uh, also in 2009 saying that uh, let uh, omega be a, a an element in the double bond side ring uh, satisfying provenius reciprocity Uh, saying that uh, I will just write you down, explain in a second, uh, taking the composite with the delta map from S into uh, S cross S, we view that as a S, S cross S set. This is the same as taking omega cross the, the, the identity in ASS, you take the delta map 
S, S cross S, and you uh, compose again by omega. Uh, delta, so is the map from the diagonal map, S cross S. Uh, and uh, the isomorphism happens here in uh, A S cross S S. That's what's the conclusion of the theorem? Then we can construct a fusion system that is saturated and has this as its characteristic by set. Then uh, our ST of omega is saturated and uh, omega is characteristic. for uh, this RST. RST stands not for Ragnar Sostanku, but for right stabilizer uh, here, <laughs> where RST, uh, but I, I like, uh, this is why I don't use the uh, LST. We, we could have, we could have, but no. Uh, so are the all the injective uh, group homomorphisms from P into S that uh, stabilize to the right, so meaning omega uh, r uh, p phi is the same as omega uh, p identity. Okay. So, so this is the way uh, we uh, go about. Maybe just. To finish, uh, uh, just to finish, to tell you why this is called Frobenius reciprocity. Uh, let's. Uh, so all, all you, you saw those uh, those maps. Oh, I, I will uh, simplify a bit the thing. So I would say that we have maps from uh, A. S S into the uh, stable maps from uh, S the point into uh, B S the point and how we go by doing that like take P phi you uh, you send it so you send it to the map so B S infinite suspension, infinite suspension, B P. So you have this map of spectra uh, where um, uh, you uh, get uh, uh, transfer. So the uh, inclusion at the um, beginning and the uh, uh, transfer. So you hear the transfer uh, P and uh, inclusion, right? Uh, phi, yeah. Sorry, this is phi. Okay, and. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, yeah, and, who is the maps, right, and just to, uh, so what is, uh, uh, like, like here, uh, G, we have it as a SS, we can look at it as a SS biset. So we think of uh, alpha of G as a stable map is, a, is an idempotent 
up to uh, some uh, uh, multiplying by some p prime uh, p prime part and just to uh, so if you if you go from uh, so b s the the uh, the suspension so from the spectra of p uh, of p s to b g uh, so you use the the transfer uh the transfer is here and the inclusion is here and then you look at the cartesian product of that with itself so um So you have the um, uh, you have the delta maps going here. So the infinite suspension of B delta S, infinite suspension of B delta G, infinite suspension of uh, B delta S and uh, the fact is the transfer and the inclusion uh, li like here you'll have the same I will not write it uh, right you have again the inclusion oh, uh, smashed with itself so B inclusion right uh, those those diagram will commute. Here we have the transfer uh, is so the the transfer and the inclusion will commute with respect to the multiplication maps here. Uh -huh. And if you go uh, again into just to just to catch the um, idempotent properties of of g so uh, go into that by i don't know take g on one side alpha of g and the identity on the other p identity uh bs oh sorry plus so okay so now you you start from here and you get get down to here. Okay, you have two ways of doing it: this way or this way. The Frobenius reciprocity is caught up somewhere here. If you want to look at the homotopy side of the homology homology side of that, and if you look now, I will just write it here. What gives you so the above and 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 below you see the above thing you have alpha g uh sigma infinity uh b delta right uh, s then you smash with the uh alpha g with identity, right? So this is the above part, and the below part is that uh, here you have B uh, delta uh, S infinite suspension, and you composed the above, right? Just uh, uh, the below part. Sorry, part is the. Uh, uh Alpha of G smash alpha of G. Right. 
So it's a natural, natural for an algebraic topologist to think of omega, omega as being the replacement, somehow the replacement map for alpha of g, where g does not exist here, uh, to think of this Frobenius uh, 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 reciprocity type of formula, again, where, where the last uh, map is it's made here to catch the idempotent properties of this alpha of g. Uh, 